Right. We're in a Bailey again. We are, yes. And we're in a Bailey Adamo. Yeah. And it's very nice. Yeah, apart from I've got a horrible creak above well, we my head. We've got a really creak, creaky creak. Which my mic is probably picking up really well, isn't <laughs> it? Yeah. So, uh, I have to sort that. We'll sort that out. <laughs> I think it might just be something we put in the cupboard. Good, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. So we've got this Bailey Adama 75-4i island yeah. bed. I don't know, you can probably see the island bed, can you, on the camera? Yeah. And uh, we've got this for three weeks now. So we're just taking it down to Southport to sort out the squeaks. <laughs> yeah, make sure we haven't forgotten something. It's taken us about three hours to... Yeah. Put everything it's in like moving and, house. Yeah, it is. I mean, you don't think you've got that much stuff to keep moving about, but you have. But you have, yeah. 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 So we're so, going to go to Southport. So we'll we'll just show you that little bit going into Southport. I think you've seen Southport many times, but we'll do an arriving at Southport. We might be in a different pitch, though, might we? We might be. And it's pretty full because it's the Maybank holiday weekend. Yeah. So I was lucky to get, because we weren't supposed to get this van, were we, till next week. And then because of the bank holiday, it was brought forward. They want to deliver it early. Yeah, to avoid the bank holiday traffic, which is a good idea. So it's come early, so I had to book Southport sort of fairly late. And I could only get Friday and Saturday, not Sunday. And now, if you look on it, all the days are, are booked over yeah. this weekend. Yeah. This, they expect glorious weather, don't we, in Southport? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we have got it at the moment. We've got it's clear quite... blue skies and... Yeah, it's clear blue skies yeah. and it's quite bright. Yeah. But it is quite cold as well. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't mind that so much. It, it's not raining, that's what's nice. No. Course, not windy. That is irritating, whatever that is. I know. Oh, I can see what it is. Can you? Yeah, it's that panel. You know, the one round the window. Oh, is it? Yeah. Right. Easily sorted. Easily sorted, right. Next time we're recording this van, we'll not have that noise. No pressure. No, no pressure. There it is. I've still got a few pictures available. We're going down the old end. Up to you. I'll let you choose. Yeah, there's not a cloud in the... Well, there's some clouds a long way away, but... Are there? I can't see any. Well, I can see some right over there. Oh, yeah. I do enjoy driving the Adamo. It's, I mean, it's one of the... Well, it's probably one of the best things about it, isn't it? The yeah. Ford cab. Is it the same? It's a two litre. Yeah. Same engine. Yeah, I hear different people call it 160 brake or so some say 170. I think it depends how it's measured. Because the the uh, 69 Ford was a smaller auto, wasn't it? Not my march, half no, a metre. No, half a metre, yeah. So I don't know if that make any difference. No. How, how it goes. Westy. Yeah, an older Westy. Got Tara with us as well, haven't we? Yep, yeah, we've got Which Tara. Is yeah. Really nice. Looks like they've got a rally on at the uh, Victoria Park. They often do, don't yeah. they? Means we can't walk through Victoria Park now. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> walk round it. Yeah, they've got a sign there saying the Caravan and Motown Club site is further on. So yeah. People have been turning in there. Yeah. Oh, well, it's quite full, oh, isn't well, it? Well, yeah. Wow, well, it's a lot of vans there. Oof. Right, so here we are. Wet paint.
You know, a second in the queue. And up again. Goodness. It looked pretty full down the, the old end. Did I it? don't know whether you want to try it. Mm. We'll turn round, can't we? Yeah. It's just that it's a bit quieter if we're going to have a walk around the van. Yeah. These are, we're looking for a white, aren't we? These yeah. two are blue. You said there's quite a few pictures still available. Nope, still doing it. We'll have that for three weeks, haven't we? <laughs> Not take the damn thing off. <laughs> Too near the bins there. Sorry? So that's too near the bins. Too near the bins. There's one in the corner there. Is one that in the corner? You want to go right in the corner? If that's a... It's a windbreak like Alison's there. It's got something on it. Parked sideways. Well, we could get in here. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Yours. A nice little corner here, right at the end of the site, aren't we? We have, yeah. I don't think we can go any further, could we, without no. being outside? Yeah, here we are. Got a par par parallel park on this pitch. I mean, there's all the peas then. <laughs> yeah. So I'll go and book in. No. I'm <laughs> saying it's not too far to go for the water, it's just here. <laughs> Half an hour later, and we're still going. <laughs> We've breached the toilet block. <laughs> Yeah, so we're booked in. It's still a bit chilly, isn't it? But uh, quite sunny. Just got the water back now, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get filled up with water. Yeah, so what we've got here is the Bailey Adamo 754i uh, on the Ford Transit chassis with a 160 brake horsepower engine. I've got a few extras on it and they've kindly provided some Malenko stuff and that's a Malenko screen. I've never seen this before so uh, it seems to fit fairly snugly. Mm, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so we've got the headlamp protectors there provided by Prima Leisure as well. And? And the mirror protectors, mirror armour, wing, wing mirror protectors which which um, <laughs> failed. Well, I didn't do that. No, it wasn't me, no, I didn't do it. It arrived like that, didn't arrived it? arrived like that, someone clouded the mirror. Yeah. I think the whole mirror itself has this survived. It's survived, It's yeah. just cracked the, the glass behind. Yeah. Yeah. So let's have a look round. we go this way first? Yeah, we'll, we'll go round. We'll go anti-clockwise. So alloy, alloy wheels, 16-inch alloy wheels, 235, 65, R16s. Very nice. I do like the, those alloy wheels on the Ford, they're nice. Yeah. We've got a ga gas locker here. Yeah, so we've got space for two 11 kilogram bottles. We've actually got two six in there. But there should be enough space. I don't believe that it's got the crash protection thing on here, so really we do need to remember to turn that off before we move. It does say on, on there. And it does say there. Yeah, the 75.4i. We've also got Truma, I think it's Truma 6E, Combi 6E. Okay, and we've got. Seems like a fairly high window up there, doesn't it? Yes, that's the bedroom, isn't it? Yeah. In here. We're doing this right? Yeah, that's the right way. This is the smaller door on the garage. I've probably come in in the wrong side because the light is on the other side, but we've managed to get all our stuff in here and more still space in there. I'll show you from the, around the other side in a minute. Of 
I'll start at the bottom here because oh, get down there. What they've now provided is a chassis extension that allows them to fit a tow bar. Now my first comment on this is this quite low when he was getting off the off, off when he was offloading it off the uh, truck that scraped on the ground and I think you'd probably catch that on ferries so you really would have to watch that. They haven't provided the plug but I have got the socket and I will try and fit that and uh, show you how that fits. But that's a new fitment so all, all of them should come with a chassis extension. Well, I think it's an option isn't it? Is it? Yeah. yeah if you want to tow something. Up here we've got a single view rear reversing camera. I'm just under the brake light. We've got a bike rack. Now when we saw this van at the show, I think it was this one, I had a bike rack fitted. Hmm. Now this is the... Uh, the bigger door, isn't it? The bigger door, yeah. Not quite sure why they can't provide a bigger door at the other end. But, uh, put the small things in there. There is a light. And there is, down there somewhere, there is 240 volts and 12 volt socket in there. But you can see we've fitted all our gubbins in here. And, Amazing, isn't it? and an aqua roll, and a waste master, and an awning. And still room in there. We brought an aqua roll with us, thinking we could use the whale pump, but they haven't given us a whale pump to use. No. So I think we'll either be see if we can find a whale pump to use, or we'll be filling it manually. What with the that will fill a jug and just to get them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. With I'll do that a one liter. Time, no, we'll, we'll, we'll go to. I've them. got that little measuring jug. I'll use that. <laughs> Sorry. both of them in. That's it. And there's the toilet cassette. There we go. Just push it. You tell you don't do these blue jobs, eh? <laughs> <laughs> now, the sun is so bright. So what we've got here I think is a new door. And they've put this door on. This is the new Hartel door with a shiny handle. Mm. Provision for an umbrella. There's Poppy. Tara, don't walk on the table. <laughs> There's provision for, for an umbrella there. It is quite nice. It is, yeah. Quite, it's um, quite a solid quite door. Quite a solid door. It's got a bin. Got a bin with something in it. I don't know what that is. All right, T, you stay yeah, there. You stay there for a minute. And it's, on, it's central locking, so you can lock that with the key. And also electric point here. Something I, I, I need to make a note of is, can you open that door? Just a little bit further. If it's on, if it's a bit windy, that's going to bash, that's gonna bash that, against that flap there. Because it's got nothing to, apart from the thing up there. Well, the, yeah, what, what, that, that needs adjusting. That needs adjusting, okay. Yeah. So, you do that, can't you, Tara? So these are notes for me. <laughs> To mention to Bailey because obviously they fitted that door but didn't think about that electric point there. Yeah, nice shiny logo and these sucker, sucker pads, I don't know how long they're going to last. But there you go. I, got a, I had a Malenko screen, a, one of these universal ones, I thought about bringing that saw that they got this one, I thought we'd try this, see how we get on with it. And, uh, let's take that off. I'm going to have to, um, um, I can't get it out off now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 
you know, as usual with the Ford cab, you have to open the door to get to the filler and to the AdBlue connectors there. You can, of course, shut the door whilst you're filling up, but then you can't shut that without opening the door. Without opening the door. But it's not a big inconvenience, really. There we go. So Poppy's going to demonstrate the swivel seat. <coughs> <laughs> So you've got the Ford cab pockets up here. A little wall rubber thing in there, so keep all your passports and things in there. Now you've got another shelf above that. It's helpfully got a pencil in there. And you've got another little shelf over there where you can keep your stuffed Westy. <laughs> and some towels and some coats. It's a very handy pocket. Little swivel lights. Still got the curtains. But if you notice over here, we've now got cab blinds. So they've added the cab blinds. And these are the ones for the Ford. And they've got this great big cutout thing that goes around this huge unit that they've got in the middle here. Yeah. So these are the Remis blinds, very similar to the ones we've got on our Ducato, but they've got that big cutout on it. They've also got rear view camera screen and that is rear view reversing only. It's not a rear view when you're driving. No. So there's no um, view out when you're going along. I've put Mrs. Satnag down there. I'm not sure if that's a brilliant place for it. Can't really see it. I might move it into, into that pocket or I might put it on the top. There is a a holder thing here that comes out like that. Don't, I don't think it will fit in there. I think, I, I think we tried last I think we did time try that. Fit in. Just give it a little go. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't fit in. There's two reasons. This here bashes against that. That's too tall. That's too tall. You could have it that way up, but you won't be able to read it. No. Oh. And it falls out like that. So. No, I'm sure we couldn't fit her on there last time. I couldn't remember, to be perfectly honest. No. So I've brought the, I've brought the Garmin uh, thing here. I have got one that fits to the window. So I'm, when we go back home, I might see if I can get that out and see if we can fit it to the window. But I think it's going to live over there like that so I can see it properly. Uh, other thing. And the other thing is that this 12 volt socket here is always live so um, you have to unplug it otherwise it'd be permanently powered up. That might wear her out. Might it, it might wear it out, yeah. So just put that in there. Tara's demonstrating the lounge and I've obviously got this big table which is the one of the nicest things about this lounge. Now you reckon this lounge is a bit smaller than the 64? Well I've, I've checked the figures yeah. and in old money that sofa yeah. well, you know, that made up into a bed it yeah. said it was four foot three wide at right. the widest point. Yeah. This one it says it's three foot eleven. Oh, so in old money quite... that's four, four inches isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so that is quite a bit narrower then. Yeah, I thought it was, yeah. and that definitely... Well, this is... Yeah, because yeah. I think that was the, the same length, or perhaps even a bit shorter, or, but when Sharon and I sat in the travel seats, we were level with each other, or we wouldn't yeah. be here. No. That one's further forward than that one. Right, OK. okay. So there is some sacrifice in the lounge. Well, yeah, because only, it's only a half a metre longer, isn't it, than yeah. the other that's one? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Anyway, the dogs seem to like it. <laughs> yeah, not, we'll have to sit in the chairs then, yeah, won't we? Yeah, we'll sit in, the, in there. You can have your beds out then. Yeah, it's nice and warm in here, so that's good. Just show you the lockers, or at least one of the lockers. They've got this great big door, and that stays up. That's quite handy. And you can fit a ton of stuff in there. That is really good. Which is what you didn't have with yeah. the drop-down bed. 
model didn't yeah. have any of these cupboards. Yeah, so obviously you've got a lot more height in here. It does feel tall. I mean, yeah, I mean, look at that. It's way above my head. Yeah, yeah. Quick look at the, I don't want to do too much on this video, but I just want to have a quick look round. Uh, the kitchen, we've got a little drawer for the cutlery. The, this is not a cupboard or anything, that's no, where the gas locker gas is. Locker. Well, a nice cooker again. Yeah. Um, got... all this. Get rid of all this rubbish. The uh, Prima Leisure have also provided a drainer and a chopping board, which I don't know where it's gone at the moment. No, it was with the... <laughs> I think it's in the garage. <laughs> right. And um, you've got this worktop surface. That's right, uh, yeah. A little, little note. That doesn't fit boing, that doesn't fit flush. No, I think I, they need I to adjust that. the hinges. I thought it was better. I, I added that yeah. and I thought it fitted better. Yeah. I tried it, you know, to get it out yeah. again. I thought we might hear that doing that when we're going along, but no. perhaps because of my squeak, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll see you have to lift yeah, all. We, we like to up. give you the unvarnished truth here. Yeah. This is our first reactions, isn't it? Yeah. So that goes back, back and then you can lift this up. You lift this up. I mean, it's a smashing cooker. Yeah. Really enjoy enjoyed it last time. Really yeah. easy to use. It's a Thetford. Yeah. So you've got three gas and, and one electric. electric, and the electric seemed quite good. Yeah. yeah. Um, got grill. this grill. Yeah. yeah. And again, I think we said this last time. We provided... can't figure out why there's two two oven trays in there, and oven shelves in there. Yeah, because it it's too. I found it was too hot using the top one. Yeah. I think somebody else has because they moved them all down. Yeah. And then you've got a little cupboard underneath. Yeah. With your pots and pans. And yeah. Things. yeah. Um, because it's slightly shorter in the kitchen. Yeah. You've only got three cupboards, whereas we had. Four, didn't we, in the 69? And 69, four, yeah. So if you fitted a microwave in here, you'd have it obviously even less Yeah. in there. So we've got we've got a big grey box that's got all the pots and pans in there. Yeah. And the Tassimo's gone in there. What did you call that? Stuff? Manual coffee. Manual coffee. <laughs> Couldn't think of else. It's instant coffee, As opposed isn't it? to automatic coffee. Oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> So what we got? What else we got in the kitchen? Um, we've done all that, haven't we? Yeah. So we've got, we've got the fridge. The fridge. Now this, I don't think this is was wide. This seems more like a slimline one, like ours. Yeah. Don't you think? Or? I think it is. Yeah. I think it is the. What did you fit in there? Just I'm, that. But but I can fit more in there. Probably just about get two loaves in there. Yeah. Yeah. It is. I just don't think it's quite as wide. No. Yeah, I found you. It's in, almost impossible to put anything tall on that top well, shelf. Well yeah you can't because that will go yeah, there wouldn't it? Yeah. You could move that down a bit but then... Can't put anything there. No. No so okay. quite, quite a bit in there. It's not a bad fridge, stuff. I mean you're not complaining. No. It's about the same size as ours isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And I, yeah. it's The shelves are nice. Yeah. And yeah, I like that big tray at the bottom, it's really yeah. handy. You see how much stuff you've got in there can you? Yes, and I haven't got all of it yet. No. I wanted to wait till the fridge was cold. cold. The controls are up here and uh, the ones we've used before. We won't go into great detail at the moment. Uh, you've got the light switches and the table switches there. I'm sure they're higher up than they were in the other one. Yeah, that you're, you can reach that again? I could reach the, to switch the pump on, yeah. yeah. And uh, I can reach yeah. that and okay. I can do the lights, yeah. Yeah, that, that button there. Does Tara's table. Does Tara's table, there you go. See, that looks bigger in here because the sofas aren't as long. That's right, but you've still got quite a bit of room. Still move around move it. Move around it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I still, still like the table. I think Tara likes the sofa, though. Mm. We've lost that. We might leave those at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the TV's on a bracket and that comes out, he said, like that. And um, what you can then do, you can swivel it all the way around, if I've left enough slack on my leads in, it'll go all the way around. So we perhaps could, can see it in the bedroom then? Yeah, that's right. Well, the wall can see it. Yeah. So, you can then, if you remember to duck, just about see it from the bedroom. 
Yeah, it then comes so out a little bit right. further. Yeah, so that'd be all right. So we can view it from the bedroom. We'll show you the bedroom in a minute. Yeah, we like the um, the area around the door with just the coat hangers. It's got a little um, pocket there as well. You can put maps and dog leads, dog leads in there. Yeah, the, the 69 floor was a bit messy, wasn't it? We yeah. Can't quite work it out, but that's nice. Yeah. And you can see I'm powering the fire stick from the USB there. So I could power it from the telly if I wanted to. Yeah, so into the washroom. Uh, first of all, the shower. The shower has got quite a deep uh, lip and it's got two drain holes. So there's a bit of a wheel arch intrusion there. And you've got the shower unit. This, uh, this here, this is a showery head it's not standard so we've added that because we want to test it and we'll be talking to you about that a little bit later and you've got the hanging rail here to dry your towels on it's a really good idea and you've got a couple of bifold doors to shut the shower off A shower. <laughs> Probably easier to do it it's when you're in the when shower. You're in there, isn't it? Yeah, but uh, there's a bit of a gap there, isn't it? I, want, I hope you don't get any splashes there, but we'll see. There you go. There's a little catch to hold it when you're travelling. Okay. It's the first time we've ever had a centre bathroom, isn't it? We've had a rear one or a corner one. Yeah, yeah. So with a centre centre washroom. You called it a bathroom, didn't you? No, because it's got no bath. It's got no bath. How could it be a bathroom? <laughs> well, times we've been told off about that. <laughs> now, the, the loo is up on a bit of a pedestal, so I'll have to let mm. you know how you get on with that. I haven't tried it yet, so now, look, I'll report on that. Little legs will tell you. And cord lightens it up in a bit, a bit in here. I like the sink. The sink is a good size. You've got a little cupboard underneath and plenty of space for your SARS-CoV-2 antigen rapid test and face mask. <laughs> your hook's on the back of that door well, as well. Yeah. Quite nice. Quite nice. So it makes it into a whole sort of washroom area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can shut off the front bit and you can shut off the back bit. Can you hear me? Yeah. And that moves very well. Yeah. Doesn't it? That's, yeah. That's very smooth. Yeah. That's right. It's got a on a runner. So yeah, nice to see that. It's a good, good solid door rather than one of those uh, things that you struggle to open, don't they? Yeah. Sharp. That's right. So looking forward to using that. We will be using that. I probably will be using that very shortly because I managed not to have a shower today with everything that was going on. <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't got enough water, have we? Well, I think we've probably got enough. Should be all right. And we've got the bedroom, so it's a bit of a mess at the moment. Everything, on the, is, um, everything on the floor. Um, what would you call day? Day position. Day position. Let, let's make it up and uh, we'll be ready then. Before we do that, I'll just show you these cupboards under here. Oh, this cupboard under here. It goes quite a way back and you've managed to put most of our clothes in here, haven't you? So yeah. our t-shirts and things, and I've got my camera bag and laptop and all that sort of stuff in there. So that's quite a good space. And then because you've got your... Hang on. Got to get up now. That's a long way up. Yeah, because you've both got a... Got, both got a little hanging space There's there. There's still sort of some room in there. You've got this yeah. bit at the bottom using that book. Yeah. Um, so oh, that's Trev's book, things. isn't it? Yeah, it is for you. Yeah, oh, I'll have to remember to give him, give him that it. back. Yeah, I think Trevor expects me to do cooking. <laughs> <laughs> so we've both got a reading light, haven't we? Yeah, with and a USB, USB on it. Yeah. See, it's got a USB on it. That's quite nice. And there's a little light, a little um, skylight above it. Not a lot of headroom in here for you. Actually, well, you're up on earth. Um, yeah, not at all. <laughs> no, at all. Look, we're the same size. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's More put. Stilts. Yeah, let's make the bed up. 
The other thing I would mention, and I forgot to mention it when we were in the lounge, is this roof here is incredibly high. I could just about reach it, but I think most people are going to have to stand on steps to open that. I, yeah, I would have to, yeah. Yeah. It's because well, the other models in the range have got a bed here. Yeah, they? that's right. And obviously you can open that front thing there, but there's no, there's nothing there. There's a big white space, isn't there? Yeah, well, that's where the bed would be. Yeah. 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 So that's how it'd be during the day, yeah? Yeah, yeah that's right. I think we'd probably roll the uh, duvet, duvelets up. I don't know at the moment, we'll see how we get on. But to pull it out, just a case of, yeah, like that. And then, still get round there. And this bit at the end, soon. <laughs> I always say they've put, they've put the sheet around it. I really don't know if these duvelets are going to work for us, you know. Um, I mean, obviously, we bought duvelets when we were single beds. And the problem is that they hang over quite a bit over there. So with the bed in its full nighttime position, I'm going to have to lift it up to get past there. Or just stay in there. Or just stay here. Well, it's not that difficult to no, no. lift up. Okay, I mean, great advantage, of course, of the duvelets is if your feet do hang over the end, it's uh, it's going to be covered up. I mean, is it going to be long enough for you? Well, six foot two, isn't it? It's only one way to, to find out, isn't there? Tara's here as well. Yeah, yeah, no, that's okay. I, I think that's where we feet are. There's my foot. Yeah. So they sort of hang, feet are slightly hanging over. The end there. You shouldn't be so tall. No. Oh, I think I could stay in there. Is it oh. comfortable? Oh, 